Hi, my name is CW and welcome to the channel. So today I will be sharing with you how to transfer your media from your camera into your computer. In general, there are two ways in which you can load your files into your computer from your camera. One is the direct USB connection with a USB cable over here. This is a 10 gigabit USB uh, cable. And the other way is to use a card reader over here. So this is a card reader and this is so this card reader is capable of reading CF Express type A and also SD card. Now obviously loading from a card reader is way faster and it is more intuitive. Sorry. But not all of us have a USB SD card reader, right? So what we can do is directly connect your cable to from your computer into your laptop okay so I should let's start by showing you how we can do it using a USB cable so before we start transferring our data from your camera into your computer via USB um, I suggest that you go to your menu and then in the menu you will want to go to USB and USB connection mode the option select when connect so that you will be able to choose the USB connection mode every time when you connect your USB. This will allow you to easily toggle between different types of functions when you connect your USB cable and you do not need to go back to the menu to set it every single time. What you can do is directly connect your USB cable into your camera. Once you connect to your computer, you will see four options and in this case, what you are concerned of is your MSC and MTP. MSC stands for Media Storage Class and MTP stands for Media Transfer Protocol. If you are using Windows, you will be able to choose both MSC or MTP. And if you are using Mac, then you are only left with MSC because Mac is not compatible with MTP. Right, so right, you can see that I am using a Mac, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select MSC. So I suggest that you use a USB 3.1 Gen 2 cable that supports up to 10 gigabits transfer rate simply because A74 supports up to 10 gigabits USB transfer rate and you do not want to shortchange yourself by using a cheap USB cable. Once you connect your USB into your computer, what you will see is that image editing software will have a pop-up to import your image. So right now I'm using Capture One. If you are using Lightroom, it will be the same. If you do not see the pop-up, then you have you would need to have your Capture One or Lightroom open. Okay, so it's fairly easy here. You just need to select the images you want. And then what you can do is click Import and you will automatically import into the folder that you want. And then you can start editing your pictures in your editing software, right? So this is how it is. And you can tweak around with the photo you want. Okay. If you are using Lightroom, you can also import your videos using this method, but I do not recommend you importing your video directly into Lightroom because there are limited functions you can edit your Lightroom with and then it will always be there in your Lightroom library which is pretty irritating. So what you want to do is go into your finder. You will be able to see that you do have a PC Home and Untitled 1 or 2. These are all your SD cards and PC Home is where your license are. So I wouldn't be too concerned about this. If you are going to import your video into your computer or hard disk what you can do is simply select your private folder and go into m4 root and clip so you do see that there is mp4 and xml xml is your metadata file you can simply drop it into your external hard disk or your desktop right now this is fairly easy in terms of photos you can directly import using the folders you would want to go into your dcim folder inside the subfolder you can find your arw which is your raw sony raw and your hif or jpeg depending on what kind of format you select another method that you can do to transfer your file is using a usb sd card or cf express card reader 
depending on what media do you have. This is a CF Express card and what you want to do is directly insert this card into your SD card reader. You would want to connect your USB cable to your SD card reader. Right, so fairly easy. Once you get into your CF Express Type A folder in your computer, you can select it over here and you can simply just drag and drop your clip like what you did on your camera directly. Other than the two methods to transfer your data, you can also use FTP transfer function which is um, file transfer protocol and you can transfer this files in your camera directly into your server. I do not currently own a NAS or any other servers so I wouldn't be able to show you this but just take note that this method does exist. So that's all for the video today. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe below. Please also tell us what your, what's your preferred way of transferring media from your camera to your computer.